Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. since the deadly shooting at Ingram High School. The 14-year-old shooting suspect and his 15-year-old accomplice are expected in court this afternoon. So the 14-year-old is charged with premeditated first-degree murder. Fox 13's Dan Griffin live outside Ingram High School this morning. And Dan, we are learning a lot about what led up to the shooting, all thanks to some court documents. Dan, good morning. Good morning to you, Brian. Yes, so we know a 17-year-old boy was shot to death here at Ingram High School. It unleashed shockwaves of sadness, anger, and a demand for changes across the district to protect students. You can see that memorial here even this morning. Well, later today, the two uh, the police say were involved will face a judge. New court documents give us a look at the weapon investigators found in the book bag of one of the teenagers connected to the murder of their 17-year-old peer. Investigators say they arrested the 14-year-old suspect and his 15-year-old accomplice who was carrying the gun as they tried to get away from the scene last week by taking a metro bus. Court documents reveal the shooting was caught on camera and say the shooting started as a fight in the bathroom between the 17-year-old and 14-year-old, as well as several other students. Charging documents reveal the reason for the fight was apparently over the gun itself. The 15-year-old had it, and the 17-year-old reportedly wanted it. Now, they say the shooting happened in a hallway after the students passed each other with the victim getting shot in the back. And what's really concerning, though, is that prior to this, officials say that a teacher tried to warn people about what was going on. Court documents say a teacher reported to security uh, concerned about the shooting suspect. This was about 20 minutes uh, before those shots were fired. So the 14-year-old police say pulled the trigger, is charged with first-degree premeditated murder, first-degree assault, and second-degree unlawful possession of a firearm. The 15-year-old is charged with second-degree unlawful possession of a firearm and first-degree felony rendering criminal assistance. King County prosecutors have filed a motion asking to move that murder case to adult court. Well, if we don't ask for it initially, and, if, and I want to say initially, if, if we don't ask for that with the filing of charges, we lose the opportunity to. And so what that means is, is even if there's a conviction that this person would be out of custody at age 21 with, with no terms, and, you know, back out on the streets at age 21, and some people would say that doesn't feel like enough. Ultimately, what we're, we're asking is for a judge to look at the, the totality of the facts and determine which court is appropriate. Uh, by at least asking for it, it gives a judge an option to, to hold somebody beyond age 21. If a judge finds that appropriate, they might not. But ultimately, we lose that opportunity if we don't ask for it today. Now, they say a judge will ultimately decide if the 14-year-old's murder case should be moved to adult court following a hearing specifically on that matter. So they also say the 15-year-old's case will stay in juvenile court, and it's not possible to move that case to adult court under state law. So as of right now, but the 14-year-old shooting suspect and the 15-year-old accomplice are expected to be in court. That's at 1.30 today. They're currently in custody at the Child and Family Justice Center. We're live here at Ingram High School. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.